29218, Station Wrightsville Beach, Roger. Masonboro Island is a very popular uh, spot for all the college kids and uh, Restful Beach residents to go out and kind of hang out during the day. Um, typically what happens is uh, people will get ferried out there um, throughout the day and uh, unfortunately a lot of the times um, once sunset hits they don't really have a way to get back um, to Restful Beach so a lot of them will attempt to swim across the inlet, um, you know, a pack boats full over capacity. Um, so our job primarily around sunset is to uh, just go out there and to ensure everybody's safe and uh, makes it back to the mainland. Several years ago we had a lot of problems with multi-agencies, multi-deploying to the same situation. Um, and what happened is you'd have five assets tied up on a single call. The best place, especially for this event, is right here at the Coast Guard Station. So we have a really good working relationship with the Coast Guard and they helped us to put all this together. and. Uh, so out here over the last couple of years we found that it uh, definitely has changed the way, uh, way we do things. Now we're able to uh, maximize our manpower and our assets and it's, it's just really been wonderful the last three years. We are uh, as a station acting as the incident command post for I think the last count was around 10 of the uh, local uh, municipalities, state agencies uh, running communications out of here, dispatching boats. Um, to areas that they're needed. It's uh, 4th of July and uh, Masonboro Island, which is just to our south, is a, is a major draw for uh, college-age kids uh, in particular. Uh, what we found is there's a, a rash of uh, illegal taxis uh, that go on. We've, we've um, interdicted one already this morning. To get a captain's license, you know, you have to go through uh, some classes uh, where you're instructed on how to, how to maintain safety passengers and, and when we find that uh, an unlicensed captain is doing that, he places those those folks in, in danger. What we see happening, and, and we're lucky this year in, in, our, in this case that uh, we'll have an incoming tide, uh, which is going to you know happen at the end of the day, but uh, what has happened in the past is uh, folks, like you said, they get delivered to Masonboro Island, and those folks that delivered them illegally, um, if they've got made what money they think they you know are satisfied with, they, they just take off and go home or enjoy fireworks while the people they delivered over to Masonboro are on their own to, to find a way back. And uh, as you know, um, when you're using alcohol and you're using in ex excess, um, you get a little brave and uh, some folks have, have even tried to swim across the inlet. And uh, on previous years when we had an outgoing tide, they, they wind up going out with the tide. At our 45 stationed uh, in and around the inlet, um, we've been tasked with um, watching for people swimming across or, or ferrying folks that have been picked up by these local agencies that we have uh, running out of the, the incident command center here. Uh, kind of turn back over. Um, we shadowed 
some surfers um, from Missouri Island over to Wrightsville. And I'm just going to pour back up now. 76 stations.